welcome back to it's just denise where i do versatile videos over here so today this one is a ear video i'm going to be doing some medium size rope twists that's what we call it here in jamaica for you overseas um senegal twists okay so i'll be using the jam to do the braid okay so now i'm just going to be parting out um to the the ear that the size that i want the braid to be in as you can see that my client ear is natural and it's actually sugar length ear okay so the braid that i'm going to be using in her hair is the nappy annie that's the one that she always use whenever she's doing um braids that's one really goes well with her with her natural hair so whenever i'm doing a braid i don't use a lot of product in the hair especially hers i don't like to over product the hair um when i do that it stays longer whenever i use less product i just use enough to keep it um her natural hair inside of the braid okay guys yes so um i'm just twisting away okay and the color is 99j that i'm going to be using at the back and at the front in the middle i'm going to be using number two braid okay yes so guys this is how i grip the hair to um hold it in the braid i First, this all depends on which hand you use. So I'm right handed, if you do it, may look like I'm left handed in the video. And I twist with my left hand first, and I um, twist with my right and overlap it. Whenever you're overlapping the braid, make sure that you tighten it at that point when you're overlapping so that it will stay. If you When you're overlapping the braid and you um, go over the hair, um slack is so easy to pull up i hope you guys understand what i'm saying huh? yes guys make sure you add part here too put the braid in the middle i twist the left first then i twist the right and i carry it over at this point that's when i tighten it make sure that it's well secured in the hair okay guys and then i start twisting away as you can see i had here to the braid to um extend it and to make sure that it's on the same length going straight down okay guys whenever you're adding um a piece of braid in here make sure it's not too big than the braids that you already um twisting with okay because that will actually give it a bulge all right yes make sure that you actually take the same size each time that you are doing a braid remember the size that you use as i can see i will take that piece out because it was too much than the one before so that they can all be on the same size guys you don't want some to be big some to be small you know you want to keep your braids on the same line. look what i did again at this point carrying over you make sure you tighten it yes guys so you can have a good grip and the braid will actually stay in the ear even when you pull at it it won't lose okay guys and you find that the client's braid will last longer that way like i said make sure you're not putting too big of a piece of the braid whenever you're extending it so it won't be bulging out okay so you want all your braid to be looking nice and even okay guys yes so now i'm on the side okay and you find that the braids in the side they tend to loosen a lot faster than the ones in the middle the braids in the side the front and the back always pull up more faster so try to make sure this one is tight enough or not tight that you are actually pulling too much on the client's ear okay you want to have a good grip on the sides and the back and the front all right make sure you always leave a little piece of the ear out so you can have um some baby hair so the client here will naturally won't be pulling whenever she 
edgy, edgy talk or anything like that. But I'm actually going to be styling my client here after I'm finished um, with her braids. I'm going to be styling it up in a bun and making some little roses on the front. That's what she actually asks for. That's what she likes to do. Our braids keep longer that way. And whenever she has somewhere to go, it's more easier for her to just go. Alright, yes. So, I hope you have been enjoying this video. So far, guys, remember to like, to comment, to subscribe, and to check out the rest of the your videos on the channel. Alright, guys, I hope you do well with this technique and I hope you actually learn something from this video. Alright, yeah. to the ends of the year I didn't go way up to where her hair um, is uh, I start at what where hair ends at yes guys so I put in the mousse to help with all those fits and to keep the hair looking naturally and neat and well put together you know the mousse help with that so after that I'm just gonna be low shiny to the girls to help with the time the dam yeah <laughs> okay i'm just loving it myself oh yeah it's not so like a jammy 
Jamaican slang. I hope you guys understand. You are not Jamaican. Now watch my videos. Okay, yeah. So there I am. I'm finished with the braid. Yep, all finished and done. So we are going to be moving on to uh, me styling her hair. I'm actually doing it. Going to be styling it the way that she asked me to style it. Okay, yes, it was done to mid mid mickle of her mid mickle. What the hell? Why am I so tongue tied to the mickle of her back? That was the length of the braid, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I guess I'm like asleep because it's late in the night that I'm editing. Okay, yeah. So now I'm gonna be flat twisting the braid up in one, up in a bun with some little type of flowers thing to it. Yes guys. So um to do our braid it takes me what five hours to braid to style to add water to do everything to trim the braid everything it took me like literally like no or four no i didn't think, i didn't reach five hours i think about four and a half hours or something like that yes to do everything yeah guys so i hope you all enjoyed this video it was um really fun doing the video i think it would have taken me I have to be videoing and stopping and pausing the video and doing all that. I think that's um, take me a little time um, more than I normally do so, um, to be angling the video, filming and doing her hair. But I hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. It was fun um, putting the video together. It was fun making the video because I love to do hair, I love to braid. Eating um to the hair guys i enjoy i enjoyed braiding and i enjoyed styling it as well it was beautiful she loved it that's what more important is when you do a client ear and they actually love their hair when you're finished guys you know but i would feel if i do a client ear and they didn't love it afterwards wow that would really hurt so i'm just glad that she loved it she was looking in the glass and she see everything that i was doing and she was all for it um that's exactly what she wanted it up flat twist up afterwards so i hope you all enjoy it thank you all for watching i hope you all check out the rest of my videos on my channel like i said my channel is very versatile i have a lot of different videos on my channel all right so if you want to watch ear video go ahead check out the ear videos and i have playlists of me doing my ear and clients ear as well and i have some mini um, plays on my channel and i have reaction and i have cooking videos just go ahead you find something that you love all right guys i will see you all in my next video thank you all for watching bye